Hello guys, welcome to Wire Network. Today, we will be discussing the process of activating the captive portal feature on a TP-Link Omada ER605 router. Before you begin, log into your TP-Link Omada router via a web browser. Next, navigate to Authentication, then click on Authentication Settings. Next, enable the web authentication functionality. Choose your LAN interface, then configure the idle timeout and specify the portal authentication port number. Next, choose the authentication page as a custom page. Upload the background image for your authentication page. Kindly provide your welcome and copyright information. Then, click on the Page Preview tab to assess the appearance of your authentication page design. To apply the configuration, kindly click on Save. The web authentication portal has been successfully activated. We have now created a user for web authentication purposes. Next, navigate to the user management menu. Click on add in order to create users. Next, select user type to formal user and then enter username and password. Set the expiry date and authentication period. Next, select MAC binding as a dynamic binding. Next, set the upstream and downstream bandwidth speed. You can also set the user's name number and description, then click on Save. To access the internet, kindly input your username and password on the authentication page. 